Greetings people, tis I, 480 Volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. <clears throat> In this episode, we're gonna see if we can't find the Soothies Forest and talk to the Pinty Hits. Yeah. So, the forest is literally right there. But you can't get to it because of these cliffs. We literally have to go all the way around. Ah! Here's the enemy I was wondering about. These guys are actually kind of annoying. Uh, they can use Goblin Punch, which uh, is a blue magic spell that you could try and learn if you so desired. Um, I don't think it's worth it. They're, that's not the reason why they're annoying. The reason why they're annoying... Okay, I was really hoping Quinta would do more damage, but he didn't. Thank you for killing that one, Zidane. Now, the reason why they're annoying... Uh, let's just wait for Zidane's turn to come up again. The reason why they're annoying is they can cast Vanish on themselves and turn invisible, making them that much harder to hit. So I'm gonna have Dagger on standby. Um, if they do that, I'll have her hit them with a weak spell like uh, Scan or something, just to undo Vanish. Of course, a good uh, bio would do the trick, but... And, uh, I was wondering if I was ever going to run into those guys. I think that's all the enemies around here. Uh, so, we'll just keep on going. Remember, if you run into that friendly creature, uh, just avoid him. We're looking for Gandalf. 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 Ah, yes. Elderly chap. Long gray beard. Pointy hat. Haven't seen him for days. All right. Okay, well, everybody learned some stuff after that battle. Uh, I don't know what everybody learned. Oh, I know, Zidane learned something. I don't know what he learned. He probably learned Stone Killer unless he was already... No, he probably learned Auto Reflect. That's probably what he learned. So I could have him learn Clear Headed, but I don't think so because more... Very important. Uh, Quinna finally learned Auto Haste. So, uh... Since I got nothing else for him to do, I'll just put him back on the yellow scarf to finish off Millionaire. I'm giving those uh, running shoes to Zidane. He's the only one of my current party who hasn't learned auto haste. So that's kind of priority, I think. Because I want him to learn this stuff. Uh, we should be good on everything else. Yeah, we're good there. Uh, let's see. And Dagger, she learned Cura. So that's nice. So, what can I give her? I can give her the diamond to teach, uh, Body Temp. The Fairy Earrings will also teach Body Temp. Oh, she didn't learn Auto Reflect? Okay, well, that's what we'll have her work on. Not that I think it's terribly important, but there you go. And I... I literally have nothing for Vivi to learn, okay. Oh, wait, and what, what is, uh, Qu Quinn working on? Did... Millionaire, that's it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is the forest. Now, we got a bit of a puzzle here. It's not a it's not a very uh complicated puzzle, but you could see a black mage going that way. I think they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. Yeah, that's that's a clue that one of the dwarves gave us. Uh, he said that they live so deep in the forest that even the owls don't live there. Well, there's a fork in the road. Now, we know to go right to the fork because we saw the black mage headed that way. But just to, um, prove the point, if you read the sign, it says that to the left there are owls and to the right there are no owls. Well, so that's consistent. So that's true. So black mages apparently live where there are no owls. So let's just head this way. Now, here's the weird part. This is the trippy part. Looks like I just looped around, huh? Yeah, this whole thing's like a circle, but it's not like a real circle, you know? It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a freaky circle. Um, well, look. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you can get in the battles here, and the enemy should be new. 
Yep, new enemy. This might be the only enemy you run into here, I don't know. Ah, look at that auto haste on Zidane, I love it. Sight to behold. Uh, I'll steal from this guy, this is the Zemzillet. Now, Rainbow Wind, what does that do? Does that automatically train? No, it just, yeah, it just does damage. Okay, whatever. Stole a high potion, um, and then just have everybody else attack. Um, I'll have Zidane attack too. I, I think it's a bird type enemy, but I could be wrong. Yeah, he likes to do Psychokinesis a lot. That can hurt. Now, I'm gonna be careful of HP here. Oh, come on, Quinna. I don't know. These guys might use White Wind. Dang, Vivi! Oh, no, that was Zidane. I was like, Vivi, you did some damage, and I realized, no, that was Zidane. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Come on, Quinna. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, he did. All right, Dagger is clearly going to have to do some healing. Ah, she learned Confuse, nice. Let's see, uh, Dagger. Uh, what was teaching, the Lama's Tierra was teaching Confuse. Eh, I might as well keep her on that. I don't think, uh... There we go. Wait, unless... Yeah, so we're good. All right. So if I read the sign, okay, it's still the same. Owls are to the left, no owls are to the right. So continue to go right. Believe it or not, we didn't loop. We actually just went to a whole other area that looks exactly the same. Now here, we can see we came from the other side. All right, now if we go over and read the sign now, it's changed. The owls are now to the right, and there's no owls to the left. So it's odd because we actually just came from the left, but we have to go back. And I was correct. Those Zemzalets do teach white wind, or they do have white wind. So, oh, there's the black mage. Now, yet again, we come from this area. Now, there's no need to even read the sign because we saw which way the black mage went, but yeah, if you want to, there are no owls to the right. So that's the pattern. Two rights, one left, and then one more right. So it's right, right, left, right. Easy pattern. And here we are out here. I'm guessing if you go the wrong way, you'll just uh, be wandering forever. Oh, that's neat. That's trippy. That kind of reminds me of the hidden city of Estar in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. How it was camouflaged. Only this time is straight up magic. The Black Mage Village! Well, they got a whole village. And I love this music. It's a nice little electronic version of BB's theme. Ah! He, he! What's wrong? Humans! Ah! Humans, run! Ah, he fell on his face. Oh, now we know where VV gets it from. W wait! Did you see them? Y yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. I'm a real boy! Oh, and he ran away. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way, but I- Hey! A village! Village always have good food! I go find! Jeez, you people! Alright, now we are- We're just Zidane. Okay, we got a few ATEs here, and I want to watch- I want to make sure I watch them in the correct order. So I'm going to start with Gorman's Nose. This is really, well, yeah, you'll see. Why you run away? I not do anything. What you hiding? Ooh. It's aroma. It's delicious aroma. That looked like a choke, that the sign outside the door was a chocobo. All right, I'll explore all this stuff later. Right now, let's just go this way. Let's focus on ATEs for now. 
Alright, I'm not even gonna mess with the Moogle. Uh, Life Cycle is the next one I wanna watch. Aha! I know you hide food! Black Mage number 111. Get out! And number 33. This egg is ours! It's Chocobo Egg! Choco Chocobo Egg super delicious! We share and eat it! We're not gonna eat it! A Chocobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving. That's right, we're gonna raise it for her. You crazy! You never raised any animal before! How do you know it? How do you know that, Quinna? Shut up! We so- we can so do it! I not believe you! You ate egg behind my back! No way! That's funny. Alright, now if I go inside this hut... Alright, now I can watch... Let's watch Everyday Life. At this point, I don't think it really matters. It was... Anyway, this is number 163. According to the book I picked up last week, the customer says Gives, give me the usual when he wants to buy something special. What would I do if a customer asked for the usual? Being a shopkeeper is really hard. The humans are here! What are humans? I forgot. Are they a type of food? Huh? A human! Um... I forgot what to say. Alright. These guys actually kind of remind me of Quinna because they think about food a lot. Alright, let's talk to, uh, Zidon? Or Quinna? Zidon, you want to eat too? Chocobo egg, very delicious! We're never gonna give it to you! I don't want to eat a chocobo egg. Is he with you? Can you take him somewhere else? Well, there's a little treasure here. Gasol Greens, that's nice. Let's head on out here. Let's see, uh... Like I said, I'll deal with the Moogle later. Right now, I'm just trying to get these ATEs out of the way. Um, so if we go over here... There's another ATE. Let's see, uh... Well, Life on the Run is the only one I can watch. The humans are here! And BB. Phoebe! What's going on? You know, I, I have to point out, technically Dagger is the only one who's human. You know, because Vivi, he's a black mage just like they are. Quinna's a Q, whatever the heck that is. And Zidane clearly ain't human because, or at least he's not full human because he got a tail. So really, Dagger's the only one who's human. Or is she? Dun dun dun! All right, different language or vis- um, let's do visitor, not invader. Different language will be forced on you at some point, so you're gonna have to watch it eventually. Um, excuse me, number 32, why are you here? 192, this is our village, yeah! You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about, using us! You mean about Vivi? That's not true, it's just that- I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who is sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? LIES! All humans are liars, you're lying! But it's true, I can't just sit in here and watch while horrible things are happening. So is Queen Braun gathering them up from here? Is that what's going on? Um, at this point, okay, I actually didn't want to go in there, but okay. Um, at this point, oh, well, we're gonna have this. Oh, Zidane! What's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane! It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable. You know that? Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm gonna go look for him. Hey, hey Dagger! Not again. Alright, at this point, this is the only one left. Different language. We got them all. This one is forced on you at some point. Black Mage 288. Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. Aware? Th thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? 
We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where no humans, uh, where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? Number 56. This is a, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground? Yes, our friends are buried under here. But, why? That's because... I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. M my friend who knows lots of things told me that this was what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Aw, oh, it's sweet, because they're like little kids. They don't understand this stuff. Was it a disease, or was he hurt? Tell me, why? That's because... Huh. All right, now, at this point, if we head over here... Yeah, basically, if you if you try to go to the left... And if you hadn't watched different language at that point, it would be forced on you. Uh, the, hey, Vivi! Hey, Vivi! What's up with him? Alright, let's set things kind of in motion by going this way. Hey, guys. I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Hey, how come you guys can all talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day. And there was a human body lying next to me. Ugh. His body was covered in blood. Ugh. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I, I, I'm guessing you slaughtered him. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me, and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while. That's how I ended up here. I see. That's it. Many of our friends stopped moving recently. The ones that were produced earlier stopped first. Maybe our lifespan is limited. Oh. I guess that's it. Uh, <clears throat> I've heard people say that that, that mage 280, 288, it's possible he's like the oldest one. That could be true, but I've I think that they should have given him a different number. They should have given him a much smaller number. You know, one of the earlier mages produced. Like, like the other one is 56. Like, clearly he was produced before 288. But, whatever. And we got an elixir. Maybe he just became aware of before uh, 56 did. Alright, we can buy... Oh, ah, get back in there. Two thirty nine. Welcome. Uh huh. Uh, um. G g can I help you? Okay, we can buy stuff from this guy. I don't need to buy much. I just need to buy uh like two of these mithril daggers, and I'm gonna buy a couple survival vests that we'll see down here. Now, for some reason, um, I should have had one at this point. I don't know why I don't have it. So I'm gonna buy like, I'm gonna buy like two of these. Yeah, that's good. I don't know why I didn't have one. But I'll go ahead and give it to uh, Zidane for now. It teaches Mug and Locomotion. It teaches everybody Locomotion, so I'll, I'll, I'll kind of trade those out on everybody. Yeah, I don't know why... Locomotion, by the way, pr uh, protects you from stop, so that's nice. I don't know why... How I missed it. Just one of those things. Now, if we go in here... We've already been in here. Uh, there's 2,000 gil here. You talk to this? No. Okay, fine. I'll go up here. I Well, I wanted to talk to this guy. Welcome to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. Oh, yeah? This is a synthesis shop. So I do want to synthesize a couple of things. I want to synthesize a, ruth, a rune tooth from those mithril daggers I just bought. And I want to synthesize three Medane's rings 
from the Bone Wrist and Stardust rods. So that takes care of that. And an extension from a Lamas Tierra, Lamias Tierra, and a Multina Racket. So there we go. Uh, yeah, that's all I need. I'll equip the stuff later because, yeah. Because I don't have my party members right now. Uh, let's see. Over here is... Uh, 843 gil. Basically nothing, but hey, take what you can get. Ah, man, I love this music. Oh, what's in here? I think this is... Oh, yeah, I know what I want to do. Black Mage 163. Um, welcome. Can I help you? Now, I think he sells just normal items. But the thing is, earlier we watched an ATE where he was talking about people asking for the usual. If you did not watch that ATE, you would not have this option right here. Give me the usual. So let's uh, let's go ahead and choose this. Give me the usual. The, the usual? Um. So now he's going to start looking for the usual, but he, he just doesn't know what to do. Where did I put it? Uh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. While he's looking, I can climb up this ladder. And over here, I can grab this, which is a black belt. Now, the black belt is uh, pretty cool. It teaches uh, HP plus 20% for Zidane. Um, I'll have him wear that later. Right now, I just want to do other stuff. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in here just yet. Man, I love this music. It just gets in your head. I want to talk to this Moogle. It's Magiro. Magrio. Uh, I have a favor to ask, Koopo. I want you to deliver a letter to Machi. Okay. Thanks, Koopo. And yeah, nothing else. Okay, so I got three letters that I'm holding. By the way, um, I did some checking. The Moogle side quest... I think, because I, I missed a letter, I, I if you recall, I, I mentioned that I missed a letter. I should still be good. But yeah, I did miss a letter at some point. Okay, I think we're all set and ready to go. So I'm just going to talk to these guys. This is an inn, but we're not ready to check you in. Oh. Your little friend is waiting inside. My little friend, eh? Well, let me get this. Oh, the gift of musical, of magical music for you by Music House. Oh, that's nice. Uh, hey, Vivi. Bef Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidon, it it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Ugh, I'm hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? E yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. What about you, Zidon? Now, I could say not yet, but uh, actually, what happens if I say not yet? I'm not tired yet. Oh, cool. I just wanted to come in here and grab this treasure, which is a Virgo. <clears throat> but I think when I'm ready to rest... Oh, Vivi doesn't want to talk. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. Yeah, we'll call it a day. To progress, we need to do this. And, you know, team needs a good rest anyway. Well, what's wrong with Vivi? Oh, well, we know what's wrong with Vivi. I like how he just wa- I love his little waddle. Zidane, Vivi just walked out. Zidane, you piece of garbage. You're giving, you're giving Dagger the top bunk. You piece of garbage. Everybody knows that the lady sleeps on the bottom. Maybe he's just letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. I mean, you're not wrong. Think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or, or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Yeah, yeah we're the outsiders, not Vivi. Maybe. Just maybe he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? 
A place to call home. Home? Yeah, a place where he belongs. I love that moon. Hey, Zidane, when you said home... What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? Oh, I love this music. Okay, you can actually have heard this music earlier. It's part of Zidane's theme. If you remember way back when we heard Zidane's theme, if we let it play long enough, it eventually starts playing this music or another version of it. But uh, you're not in that scene long enough for it to play. This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Oh yeah? Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day the man left the home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. So clearly Zidane is talking about himself. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah. He thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of ha a lot of things happen along the way. All right, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did to when he came home? Ah, uh, Baku. Welcomed him home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Oh. That's dark. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Maybe. And it's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I, want, I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Straighten your hat, Vivi. I love how he does that little nod, too. He's like, all right, yep, I'm good to go. Hello, nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words, but you already know what it means to live and to die. Well, clearly he does, He hasn't died yet, so... You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um... Seven our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. Oh, dang. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. And, and maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Is it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning? I... I, I mean, th basically, this is human. I mean, you guys are more human than we thought. I mean, you have, a, you have a limit to your lifespan. Really? Or Really? 144. Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Sedan, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Conde Petit said there was a place called Sanctuary where entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? If Vivi says he's staying behind... Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village has to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Aw, oh, man, I thought Dagger and I'd get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You know can leave me here, I starve. 
Oh yeah, I forget about you. Let's go, everyone. To Conde Petit and to the sanctuary that lies behind. Beyond. Nice try, Zidon. Alright. Uh, interesting thing. Um, they don't... Well... We're, we're clearly wondering what's going on with BB because if, um... If Black Mages stop, uh, more or less one year after production, then, you know, you gotta wonder about BB. Because he's, he, he looks several years, many, many years younger than these other Black Mages. So we can infer that BB must, or the Black Mages in general, must age at a faster rate. Maybe in a month or so, BB will be, uh, much older looking, we don't know. Now, there is something you can see here. I've been I've been gaining weight lately. I wonder if I'm overeating. We've been gaining distinctive personality traits since we arrived on this village. Mr. 44, for example, for instance, got bigger. The others all are also starting to look and act differently. Mr. 288 told us that this is called individuality. He's really smart. Yeah, see, 288, he, he's the guy who knows everything. Yeah, I, I, uh, let's see, I'm going to go up here. Just a little bit of dialogue I can get. Huh? I hear someone talking. Why does Mr. 192 call the synthesis shop Black Cat? His cat isn't black. Mr. 32 wanted to call it the Black Mage and Cat Synthesis Shop, but Mr. 192 thought the name was too long. Oh, I get it now. Black, ki black Cat Synthesis Shop is much easier to say and remember. Wow, Mr. 192 is really smart. I love how they're like little kids. And there's one more thing I'm going to try to do before we head on out. I'm going to talk to the guys by the Chocobo Egg. Now that Quinn is not uh, blocking us, I'm going to see if uh, if this one guy uh, says anything different. I'm going to so see if both these guys say anything different. Oh, there's only the one. Oh, yeah, there they are. I'm thinking of a name for it. I wonder if it'll hatch. Or I wonder when it'll hatch. I'll keep it warm constantly. Will you guys take care of it? We built the shack to accommodate our baby Chocobo. Pretty nice, don't you think? That's very nice. Alright, uh, let me just talk to this dude. I don't like the sun because it makes me hot. But the light is pretty, isn't it? Especially through the leaves. Yeah, it is. Alright, I think that's I think that's literally everything we can do here. So let's uh let's arrange our equipment. Uh let's see. So I got him on that, which is fine. Um Yeah, so I'll go ahead and give this survival vest to uh, Quinna. Everybody's going to have to learn locomotion at some point, but might as well give it to him. Uh, let's see. Is the extension... Okay, he can't even wear the extension. So I think Quinna's basically done for with uh, main abilities for now. Until, like, you know, while I get... While I worked on Reflect Ring and all that. Now, the extension for Dagger... Is nothing. So why did I need the extension? I don't know. I know, I definitely want to give that black belt to Vivi because he can learn Demi from it. And yes, I will eventually give it to Zidane, but it, it'd be nice to, you know, get um, the thing from it. Oh, and the Rune Tooth, that's a new weapon for Zidane. It teaches, it teaches, oh, just Lucky 7. Okay, well, I'm going to give it to him after he learns Annoy because, you yeah, know, he's still working on Annoy. And uh, I think we're done, yeah. So I guess we gotta head back to Conde Petit. I think that's our our destination. So what's gonna happen is between now and the next video, I'm just going to um, head over there. So at the start of the next video, I'll just already be there and we can just cut to the heart of the matter. But yeah, the Black Mages, I guess, I guess it's the opposite of what I said earlier. They start out, they're produced, and they're mindless dolls, and then at some point they gain sentient, they become sentient. And it's at that point that they all decided to come here. So, it's quite interesting. There's uh, uh, plenty of Star Trek uh, analogy that you could put to it. You know, I've watched so much of that, and they deal with that whole... You know, thing about becoming sentient, and are you really just a mindless automaton, or blah blah blah. So yeah, very very interesting. 
anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, in the next video, like I said, we'll be at Condé Petit and we'll figure out where to go from there. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you next time. Peace.